So the question for this video is, can you see your Google Calendar on your Apple Watch? Well, officially, there is no Google Calendar app which would support an Apple Watch version. So if you check it out inside of the App Store, you can see that we have the Google Calendar right here. And there is an available application for the iPhone as well as for the iPad. There is not available uh, as an app for the Apple Watch. However, there is the Apple Calendar right here, which is available on the watch. And what is interesting about it is that you can add Google Calendar to the Apple one and make events and everything show up on the watch as well. The way that it works is that on your iPhone, which is paired to that Apple Watch, you open up the settings and in here, you wanna come back to the main section, scroll down to find all of the apps at the bottom then click on a calendar right here and tap on accounts. So as you can see, I only have the Apple account listed into my calendar, but I can add a new one. And from the list, I can choose Google and I can essentially just sign in with my Google account, like everything I can give access from the Apple calendar to Google. And then everything is gonna be synced on my Apple Watch. So it is, very simple to set it up that way. You don't have to download any third-party apps for it. And everything is going to be just showing up on the iPhone as well as on the Apple Watch inside of the calendar app from Apple. So that's pretty simple. That's how I would personally use it. Obviously, there are also some other calendar apps which might work with the Apple Watch. So you don't really have to stick with the Apple one. But uh, I I'm pretty sure that it, this is like one of the best ways to do it because some apps you can see even a third party calendars don't have Apple Watch apps. So this one is a safe bet and you can be sure that there is going to be one available. You can see most calendars only iPhone and iPad only. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to talk about. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe for more and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.